The computer was first conceived over two centuries ago, during the 19th century, when entrepreneurs and mathematicians needed a way to cope with solving the increasingly complex numbers they encountered during calculations. Computers has since evolved very much solving more problems than the initial problems they were made and meant to solve. And they look very different compared to the first computers that were produced. Here is the history of how mechanic numeric calculators evolved into the powerful variety of awesome computers that run games, softwares, multimedia and surf the net almost at the speed of light. 19th century. In 1801, Joseph Marie Jacquard, a French merchant and inventor invented a loom, which uses punch wooden cards to automatically weave fabric designs. Early computers also use similar punch cards. During 1821, Charles Babbage who is an English mathematician, proposed a calculating machine driven by steam, the machine he said will be able to compute tables of numbers. The project was funded by the British government and called the, Difference Engine, but according to the University of Minnesota, the project failed due to lack of technology at that time. In 1848, the world's first program was written by A.D.A. Lovelace, an English mathematician and the daughter of the poet Lord Byron. A.D.A. Lovelace is said to have written the first program while translating a paper on Babbage's analytical engine from French into English. In the article for the Max Planck Societe, Siffert wrote, she also provides her own comments on the text. Her annotations, simply called, notes, turn out to be three times as long as the actual transcript. Lovelace also adds a step-by-step -step description for computation of Bernoulli numbers with Babbage's machine, basically an algorithm, and in effect makes her the world's first computer programmer. During that same time, Charles Babbage's analytical engine was conceived. The English mathematician designed a Victorian-era computer called the analytical engine. In 1853, the Swedish inventor Per Georg Scheutz and his son Edward, designed the world's first printing calculator. The machine was very significant since it was the first to compute tabular differences and print the results. In 1890, a punch card system to help calculate the 1890 U.S. Census was designed by Herman Hollerith. The machine saved the government several years of calculations and the U.S. taxpayer approximately $5 million, according to Columbia University. Hollerith later established the company that eventually became the International Business Machines Corporation IBM. Early 20th century. In 1931, at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, Vannevar Bush invented and built the differential analyzer, which was the first large-scale automatic general-purpose mechanical analog computer. In 1936, Alan Turing, a British scientist and mathematician proposed the principle of a universal machine, later called the Turing machine in a paper called, On Computable Numbers. Turing machines are capable of computing anything that is computable and the central concept of the modern computer is based on this idea. Turing was later involved in the development of the Turing-Welchmann bomb, an electromechanical device designed to decipher Nazi codes during World War II. In 1937, a professor of physics and mathematics at Iowa State University, John Vincent Atanasoff, submitted a proposal to build the first electric-only computer, without using gears, cams, belts or shafts. In 1939, David Packard and Bill Hewlett founded the Hewlett Packard Company in Palo Alto, California. The pair decided the name of their new company by tossing a coin, and Hewlett Packard's first headquarters was in Packard's garage. In 1941, German inventor and engineer Konrad Zeus completed his Z3 machine, which was the world's earliest digital computer. The Z3 machine got destroyed during a bombing raid on Berlin in the World War II. Zs fled the German capital after the defeat of Nazi Germany, and later released the world's first commercial digital computer, the Z4 in 1950. In 1941, Atanasoff together with his graduate student, Clifford Berry, designed the first digital electronic computer in the US, and was called Atanasoff Berry Computer, ABC. This marked the first time a computer was able to store information on its main memory, and was capable of performing one operation every 15 seconds. In 1945, two professors at the University of Pennsylvania, John Mockley and J. Presper Eckert, designed and built the Electronic Numerical Integrator and Calculator, ENIAC. The machine is said to be the first, automatic, general-purpose, electronic, decimal, digital computer. 
In 1946, Mockley and Presper left the University of Pennsylvania and received funding from the Census Bureau to build the UNIVAC, the first commercial computer for business and government applications. In 1947, William Shockley, John Bardeen and Walter Bretain of Bell Laboratories discovered how to make an electric switch with solid materials and without the need for a vacuum, and they invented transistors. In 1949, a team at the University of Cambridge developed the Electronic Delay Storage Automatic Calculator, EDSAC, this was the first practical stored program computer. The EDSAC ran its first program in May 1949 when it calculated a table of squares and a list of prime numbers. In November of the same year 1949, scientists with the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, CSIR, now called CSIRO, built Australia's first digital computer called the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research Automatic Computer, CSIRAC. CSIRAC was the first digital computer in the world to play music. Late 20th century. In 1953, Grace Hopper developed the first computer language WLAND, which eventually became known as COBOL, and stands for Common Business Oriented Language. Hopper is said to be the first lady of software, in her posthumous Presidential Medal of Freedom citation. Same year. Thomas Johnson Watson Jr., son of IBM CEO Thomas Johnson Watson Sr., conceived the IBM 701 EDPM to help the United Nations keep tabs on Korea during the war. In 1954, John Backus and his team of programmers at IBM published a paper describing their newly created Fortran programming language, which stands for formula translation, according to MIT. In 1958, the Nobel Prize in Physics winner Jack Kilby and Robert Noyce unveiled the integrated circuit, known as the computer chip. In 1968, Douglas Engelbart revealed a prototype of the modern computer at the Fall Joint Computer Conference in San Francisco. His presentation, was called, A Research Center for Augmenting Human Intellect, and included a live demonstration of his computer, including a mouse which he invented in 1963, and a graphical user interface GUI. This marks the development of the computer from a specialized machine for academics to a technology that is more accessible to the general public. In 1969, Ken Thompson, Dennis Ritchie and a group of other developers at Bell Labs invented Unix, an operating system that makes large-scale networking of diverse computing systems, and the Internet practical, according to Bell Labs. The team behind Unix continued to develop the operating system using the C programming language, which they also optimized. In 1970, the newly formed Intel unveiled the Intel 1103, which is the first dynamic access memory, DRAM, chip. In 1971, Alan Shugard led a team of IBM engineers to invent the floppy disk, to enable data to be shared among different computers. In September 1972, a German-American engineer, called Ralph Baer released Magnavox Odyssey, the world's first home game console. Months later, entrepreneur Nolan Bushnell and engineer Al Alcorn with Atari released Pong, the world's first commercially successful video game. In 1973, Robert Metcalf, a member of the research staff for Xerox, developed Ethernet for connecting multiple computers and other hardwares. In 1975, the magazine cover of the January issue of Popular Electronics, highlighted to the Altair 8800 as the world's first mini-computer kit to rival commercial models. The two computer geeks, Paul Allen and Bill Gates, saw the magazine and offered to write software for the Altair, using the new basic language. On April 4, after the success of this first endeavor, the two childhood friends formed their own software company called Microsoft. In 1976, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak co-founded Apple Computer on April Fool's Day. They unveiled Apple I, as the first computer with a single circuit board and read-only memory, ROM. In 1977 Radio Shack began its initial production and distribution of the 3000 TRS-80 Model 1 computers, also known as the Trash-80, and was priced at $599. Within a year, the company took 250,000 orders for the computer. Also, the Commodore Personal Electronic Transactor, PET, was released onto the home computer market, featuring an MOS Technology 8-bit 6502 microprocessor, which controls the screen, keyboard and cassette player. In 1978, Bizacalc, the first computerized spreadsheet program was released. 
In 1979, MicroPro International, founded by software engineer Seymour Rubinstein, released WordStar, the world's first commercially successful word processor. WordStar was programmed by Rob Barnaby, and included about 137,000 lines of code. 21st Century 2001, Mac OS X was released and was later renamed OS X, then simply Mac OS. Apple released it as successor to its standard Mac operating system. OS X goes through 16 different versions, each with 10, as its title, and the first nine iterations are nicknamed after Big Cats, with the first being named, Cheetah. In 2003, AMD's Athlon 64, the first 64-bit processor, was released on the market to customers. In 2004, the Mozilla Corporation launched Mozilla Firefox 1.0. The web browser is one of the first major challenges to Internet Explorer, owned by Microsoft. During its first five years, Firefox exceeded a billion downloads by users, according to the Web Design Museum. In 2005, Google bought Android, a Linux-based mobile phone operating system. In 2006, Apple released the MacBook Pro. The Pro is the company's first Intel-based, dual-core mobile computer. In 2009, the 22nd of July, Microsoft launched Windows 7. The new operating system features the ability to pin applications to the taskbar, scatter windows away by shaking another window, easy-to-access jump lists, easier previews of tiles and more. In 2010, Apple's flagship handheld tablet, the iPad was unveiled. In 2011, Google released the Chromebook, which runs on Google Chrome OS. In 2015, Apple released the Apple Watch and Microsoft released Windows 10. In 2016, the first reprogrammable quantum computer was created. Until now, there hasn't been any quantum computing platform that had the capability to program new algorithms into the system. They usually each tailored to attack a particular algorithm, said study lead author Shantanu Deebnath, a quantum physicist and optical engineer at the University of Maryland, College Park. In 2017, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, are redeveloping a new, molecular informatics program that uses molecules as computers. Anne Fisher, program manager of the agency stated that chemistry offers a rich set of properties that we may be able to harness for rapid, scalable information storage and processing. Millions of molecules exist, and each molecule has a unique three-dimensional atomic structure as well as variables such as shape, size, or even color. This richness provides a vast design space for exploring novel and multi-value ways to encode and process data beyond the zeros and ones of current logic-based digital architectures. So, with this brief timeline history of the computer, I can conclude that the computer, will never stop evolving, and will evolve faster in the next years to come, than it has in these past two centuries. Thanks for watching. This is knowledge in general. Like, comment or share, and subscribe for more.